Uh oh, hooked up. What's happening y'all? Welcome back to James Outdoors. It's been a little bit since y'all have heard from me here. Football season just passed. I've been traveling to a lot of football games, but I'm back fishing right now. We're out here in a popular spot in the Elizabeth River and we're trying some live baiting today. It takes me back to the olden days when we used to come out here and catch some big trout on live bait. I don't know if it's as good as it used to be, but we're gonna give it a shot. All right, I got the minnow trap soaked in here. Hopefully you guys can see this. There's a, just a ton of gudgeons swimming around the outside of there. I'll probably spook them if I get too close. Yep, there they go. But that trap is already full. I can just see them swimming around inside there. I've got it baited with like a piece of a taco from Taco Bell. That's not a joke. They're eating it up. Today's video is a combination of two days of fishing. Uh, the other day with my friend Emily and today by myself. So hopefully you'll enjoy the video and stick around. All right, we got our first bobber down here. Oh, and we're wrapped around the tip. Let's see. Mess around and lose this fish. We'll see what it's going to be. Maybe he'll stay on there. Yep, hooked up. First trout of the day. I don't think he's super big, but uh, he's getting bigger as he comes in. I think he finally realized that he was hooked here. Yeah, he's putting up a little fight. Yeah, not a hey. Certainly not a bad start of the day. Come here, fish. Yikes. I've got a landing net like six feet from me, but here I am pulling a 19 inch trout right over the side of the boat. Look at that. It's a pretty good start to the day. I don't know that the cove is ever going to be the hot spot that it used to be, but you can still catch a trout on live bait inside the cove. Okay, so maybe not 19, but probably like 18 inches. A pretty nice, healthy trout. I'm going to go ahead and release them here. Just like that, successful release. This particular area where I'm fishing today is a place that you cannot anchor because they own land underneath the water, which is kind of crazy. I got my trolling motor here on the anchor in place mode and I'm just using it to hold me in a spot while I put slip bobbers out. All right, we got another bobber down. Uh-oh, hooked up. Fish on. Oh, hey, that might be a nice trout here. Is it big? Uh -oh, let me get the net. Try and film with one hand here and Net with oh. the other. Oh, it came off. Yep. Come on now. We're going to starve to death with the way that you're catching trout out here. He snapped it. Snapped it? Good grief. Super little guy. Is it a trout? It is the babiest of trouts. Look at that little trout. That's embarrassing. <laughs> Everybody go and give Emily a like on this video, though, for her very first fish. Rude. All right, we got another bobber down here. Oh, it's back up again. I don't know, it's like they're just sampling the bait and, uh, and they haven't committed to it yet. Let's see if I can entice them. Here, fishy, fishy. It usually does the trick for them. Yeah, hooked up. This is like one of these cheap Walmart reels here. It's uh, not the world's smoothest reel, but hey, you gotta use what you got. Hey, he's getting bigger as he comes up. Let's see if I can net him with one hand and uh, and fight him with the other. Uh, maybe you can get the net down. He's actually getting to be bigger. All right, you got a net. He's coming up. Oh, he's coming up and then he changed his mind. All right, net that bad boy. We're gonna have to take this. I think he's pulling a little drag out. Where is he? He's getting bigger as he goes. Oh, there he is. Come on, dude. Get him. Get him in the net. I can't hold this and get him in the net, too. There we go. Nice. Well, I got the world's largest landing net, so it makes him look not that big, but <laughs> another one about 17, 18 inches. Not a bad fish. Want another release here? Boom. Catch and release. Sun to hear. Sleigh bells in the snow. Uh oh. Got a bobber down. I got the drag set loose on this one because this is the one the other day that broke the line. Still feels like it might be a decent fish though. Try and get my net ready here. Got my mirror lure rod now in the way because I was just trying to cast it some. 
just move back just a little teeny bit and next thing i know fish on wow, he's up high in the water it's kind of a lighter weight rod but i think this might be a stout fish just the way he's acting it's like he doesn't want to come up to me and a little bit of authority yeah look at that look at that pull and drag Let's see if we get a look at him here get this net down here yeah oh almost dropped the whole net in there look at that pretty fish right there that's a nice healthy trout i'm guessing he's gonna go about 20 21 inch or something like that he's nice it's really such a beautiful fish i know i say that about a lot of species but these speckled trout when they come out of the water are some of the most beautiful fish get a quick measurement on this guy and let him go he's just shy of 20 inches a really nice healthy fish Ooh. He gone okay so the bite has slowed down just a little bit here i'm going to take a minute to tell you how i'm rigging up my lines here um coming off my main rod i have 12 pound monofilament line and i'm just using the rubber bobber stoppers that you see at the store i'll put a link right here or a picture right here at least and then from there i've got a little teeny barrel swivel and i come down to a fluorocarbon leader this fluorocarbon leader right here is 12 pound test and i've got about maybe around 30 inches I've got one pretty large split shot here, maybe six inches above your live bait, and then a two-aught hook with a live gudgeon. If you can get live bait and the bait that is natural to the water that you're fishing, you're going to be a lot better off. I've used store-bought minnows, stuff like that, but the bite is not as good as if you have live natural bait. As you can probably tell, this is a little bit of a homemade deal right here, but I got tired of slip bobbers that wanted to spin all around in the wind. These slip bobbers right here I made, uh, you know, putting a tube through and gluing a weight to the bottom. They sit just perfectly straight up and down, and that allows your bait to uh, stay where it's at. They don't move so much in the water, and they don't get on their side and twist. Ask me how I know about that. Thanks for watching, y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed it. There's more trout videos coming your way, so stick around, and I'll see you guys very, very soon.